Hello, Adi. Hello, Titi. Today, we are learning about fractions. What are we learning about? Yeah. Fractions. 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 That word sounds very tricky, doesn't it? Yes. Now, what is a fraction? Um, the word. Okay. Uh, a fraction is a part of a whole. What is a fraction? It's a part. It's a part. It's like sharing. So if you have one, if you have one banana, Addy, that does not mean you cannot share. Okay? When you have one remaining and you have to share, you give a part, a fraction. Okay? So let's see what else we need to know about fractions. Now here we have a circle. That shape looks like a circle. And that circle is divided into four parts. How many parts? Four parts. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four parts. And how many parts do we have in the color green? How many parts has the color green? How many parts? Come on, Titi. Look at the look at the shape. How many parts is colored green? How many? Um, one. 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 Very good, Tiana. One part is shaded green. So when we share fraction, right? We give a part out of a whole. So we have one part colored green, but they are four parts so we say that fraction is called a quarter what is it called one quarter what's that fraction tiana one quarter quarter or we say quarter yes look at our next shape our next shape is divided into how many parts one two three Three parts. And how many parts are shaded blue? One. One. So that's one out of three. That's called one third. What is it called? It is called one third. Let's look at the next. Here now. Our shape is a circle again, and it's divided into how many parts? One, two, three, four parts. There are four equal parts. It's important to note that when we are sharing fractions, we share equally. How do we share? Equally. Equally. Everybody gets the same size. Yours cannot be bigger than... Mine. Ah. That will be very uneven. Okay? Okay. Yes, it will be. So, how many parts do we have shaded orange? Uh, we yeah, have yeah. One, one, two. two. We have two parts shaded. And that looks like the same as the other side. The other side, how many parts are unshaded? One, uh. two. So we have two shaded and two on shaded. So that's equal. Two and two is the same. So a fraction like that is said to be called a half. Ah. So we have two and two. It's equal. It's mm. called a half. Uh -huh. Okay? Right. It's called a half. It's two out of four, right? But two out of four, when we reduce it, we get one half. Another way to represent a half is to have two equal parts, and then we shade one out of two. That's called a half. One out of 
two is called a half but then two out of four is also a half so don't be confused boys and girls okay let's go on in this shape we have four equal parts and they are three parts shaded one two three so the fraction that is shaded is three out of four that fraction is called three quarters what is it called three quarters. there are three quarters shaded and if we look closely at our shape girls and boys we will see that there are actually four quarters in that whole circle titi can you see that there are four quarters in that Nine. whole circle okay so four quarters make one whole four quarters make one when we talk about coins in the last video that we did remember when we talk about coins we said there are four quarters in one dollar okay the same there are four quarters in a whole the whole can be a whole dollar it can be a whole pizza it can be a whole circle it can be a whole what else is round a ball a balloon a flying saucer all right so all of those round things if we were to divide them into four equal parts each part is called a quarter so there are four quarters in a whole remember that okay right fractions have two parts fractions have two parts yes there is a what do we call a denominator that's a very, yes that's a very big word there is a denominator which is the bottom number of the fraction and that bottom number tells you how many parts your whole is divided into so if you look at those examples we did earlier you see that our circle was divided into four equal parts right tiana yes four equal parts so the denominator or the bottom number is called the denominator and that's the number that represents how many parts our total number of parts and it goes below the fraction line or the bar and you will see as we move on so here we have a fraction that's how we write a fraction now that fraction you see the bottom number says four that's how many parts and that's called the denominator and do you see that black line in the middle of those two numbers yeah. that black yeah. line is called a fraction bar Adi, you need to be careful now where do you think the numerator goes if the denominator goes to the bottom the numerator will go what's the opposite of bottom it will go on top yes it will go to the top so bottom top up down in out okay right so they're opposite so denominator goes to the bottom the numerator goes to the top as in this example yes okay it goes to the top above the fraction bar so there is our fraction again let's look at it closely girls and boys yeah. the number at the top is what is that number Addy? look at this what is this number one. yes very good Addy. that number is one and this bottom number is two. What, is, yeah. what is this number four, four. yes four. this number is four so in our fraction example here we have one as the numerator or the top number and we have four as the denominator or the bottom number and this fraction is called one quarter a quarter is one out of four equal parts okay one out of four equal parts now the numerator tells us how many pieces out of the whole is taken right in our examples how many pieces out of the whole is 
shaded, right? And the numerator tells you how many parts are shaded. The denominator tells you the total number of parts your shape is divided into. Okay, girls and boys? Yeah. Yes. So we are learning some deep stuff here. So here is a picture of a shaded figure. And there is the fraction representation of it. So let's look at the picture carefully. Yes. That picture is the picture of a... Yes. What shape is that? What shape is this? Uh, a circle. Ball. Yes, Addy, it's a circle. Yes, and it. the circle is divided into one, two, three, four parts. Tiana, pay attention here, please. Yes, the circle is divided into Eleven. four parts. Eight. So you see the bottom number here? Four. It is four. And the top number is three because there are three parts yes. shaded. Three. So that fraction is called three quarters what is it called very good tiana three quarters okay now here are some more examples let me see if you can tell me what fraction is shaded so here we are hold on hold on right here we are guys what fraction is shaded one 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 out of Look at the bottom number. One out of, come on, Tiana. One is shaded, but how many parts are there? Look at this bottom number. They are four parts. So we say one out of four. And that's what? called a quarter. Okay, Addy? What? That's called a quarter. All right. What other fraction do we have? We have this one here. This one here is one out of, what number is this? Three. Three. Yes, Addy, one out of three, and that's called one third. What is it called? One third. One third. Right. Here we have two out of four. What do we have? We have two shaded out of four parts. Right? Two out of four. And two out of four is called... Two out of four is the same as one half. Right? So you see, it's half and half. Two equal parts. Right. And then we have... What fraction is shaded here? That is, how many parts are shaded? One, two, one, three. Two. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's three out of four parts. Four. Right? Three out of four parts. So there you have it. Three out of four. Three quarters. Okay? Four. Right. Three quarters. Okay, girls and boys? So, do you think that you understand your fractions now? Yes. Yes? One out of two is a half. One out of three is one third. One third. Yes. And three out of four is three quarters. Three quarters. Okay? I remember we also learned that Two quarters is the same as a half. a half. And there are four quarters in one whole. There are four quarters in one. Okay? Did you enjoy your video today, girls and boys? Yes, Mommy. Addy, did you enjoy it? Yes, Mama. Yes, thank you for watching, girls and boys. And remember, we must always share. Even if you have one, you can share. You have to give a fraction, a small part. But it must be equal, okay? It must be equal. See you soon, girls and boys. Until our next video, stay safe, stay well, stay healthy. Mwah. Bye. Bye, Hattie. Bye, Titi.